maintenance man here at Mr. Dog Poop Studios. I want you to take a look at this $3,000 hood mount camera mounting system. What does it look like? Dana dolly tracks, right? That's right. If you already have tracks for your dolly, stick around because I'm going to show you how to turn those tracks into a $3,000 professional camera hood or roof mount system for under $200. Rather than using metal feet, we're going to use suction cups, which are a lot more sensible than metal feet on an expensive car. You can find these 6 inch suction cups on Amazon for about $30 each. Now to make the rig as stable as possible, we're going to use 4 of them, but we need a 5 8 baby pin to attach to each of the suction cups. Luckily, those are available, Matthews brand, on B&H for about $12 each. Simply screw them together. And now we have just built four short light stands with suction cup bases. Now before we continue with the car rig, think about all the places you can now mount anything from monitors to lights to this suction cup baby pin. The first part is easy. Just stick two of them in the normal mounts that you would put on your stands. Then to stabilize the rig, we need to attach another mount on each side so we have at least four legs supporting our table. You can do this with Cardellini clamps, Super Mafer clamps, or anything that has a 5 8 rod extending out. If you don't have either of those, you can take a piece of 5 8 aluminum rod, 5 to 6 inches long, drill a 5 16 hole down the center, and using a tap, cut 3 8 16 threads. Then get one of these $3 lighting truss clamps and attach it using a 3 8 inch bolt. This is by far the cheapest and best way to do it, if you have the patience and the tools. Then using your grip head, attach the suction cup and the other 5 8 rod. So now we have four points that we're mounted to, and if we peel these off, we have an extremely solid mount. Of course, you can move these around, you can move these to fit the car, then all you need is something to mount it. You can use a standard bar like this, set it on there, clamp it on, and mount your camera. A couple dollars for the bar, three bucks a piece for the clamps, and you're good to go with a pretty solid hood mount for a car. As for mounting a camera, you can use a flat bar or plate, again using a couple of $3 clamps. Or you could just use your Dana dolly or Movemax dolly and just strap it down to the rails. Of course you could just ratchet strap this down. If you want to take the wheels off and attach it, you can, but that's an acceptable amount. You can get ratchet straps for about 2 to $5 each. I also recommend these kayak straps to get a safe mounting point without damaging the vehicle. Now if you already have two grip heads and clamps, your total cost will be about $160 for the suction cups. If you go the cheap route using the lighting truss clamps and only have to buy two grip heads, you're looking at another $50. Of course, you can go bigger and better. For example, buy this Mitchell mount from ProAim that clamps to the rails for $110. For another $50, you can get this adapter that turns the Mitchell mount into a 75 and 100 millimeter bowl mount. But even if you do all that, all in you're still only spending around $300 for a professional rig that's being sold for $3,000. This is a super fast and easy to set up rig that can be used on the hood, roof, or trunk and support heavy loads. This is way better than any of those cheap rigs selling on Amazon for three to $500. And the best part is, you can still use it for cinematic shots while the car is parked. This is how they drive in the movies, like this. I mean, they might as well be drunk, right? I mean, can you imagine, like they're moving the steering wheel back and forth because they're on a process trailer and they're moving the steering wheel back and forth. They'd be going like swerving all in and out of the street. Well, it looks like I'm out of beer again. So let's take this outside, grab another beer, and mount it on an actual car and see if it really works. So we've got the rig out on the truck. 
These are positioned in spots that we know are flat. You can't put a suction cup across here or where there's a dent or where there's something that isn't flat. So make sure you have them on flat areas. This area, this area. We could flip it around, put it up in the front, bring it back, but I wanted to be able to show these in a demonstration. So this is your standard Dana Dolly track. This is the Mitchell mount, which I really like. It just makes it so much easier. These are the clamps with the pins, and you can adjust here, and you can adjust this clamp so that you can go higher or lower, get it, if you wanted to get it level, you could move this clamp around, bring it down, put it further up. But we're just gonna get it where it is, tighten these up, just push down on your suction cups and they'll stick, but then there's a pump, you can pump it down. You always want to have a clean truck. This thing hasn't been washed in about three years and we're not going to wash it for this, so it's not perfectly clean. It'll still stick. Again, push the mount down, pump it up. Last one. And if I can move a 10,000 pound truck without moving the mount, that's pretty solid. But don't ever expect these to stay on. Always strap it down with safety straps. And these kayak straps can go under the hood. Let me open this hood up. So this just goes inside the hood. And then when we bring the hood down, it'll hold it. The other side. Then you lock your hood in place. And that's gonna give you a secure mount point. Because these are long, we're gonna strap this one all the way over to that side. And then the other one over to this side. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it there so that right to the end of the tube, something that I know is not going to move and won't interfere with the camera. And we'll go ahead and hook this right into here. Bring that up and now that is strapped down to the hood, you have to deal with these. Whether you zip tie it or tie it up, otherwise it's gonna fly all over the place, it's gonna ruin the paint on the vehicle, and it's probably gonna get in your shot. So you can just do something like wrapping up the excess. A little bit extra work, but it's worth it. We're gonna go ahead and strap the other side same way, and that way it's strapped down to the hood. And even if these suction cups fail, that rig can't come off. I would suggest using four straps, four of these straps, but for the demo, we're just gonna do two. And I'm gonna go into the end of the tube, something I know that won't move. And when you're using these straps, always make sure that you have, so they can't come out. These have little safety things on them, so they can't come off. Don't hook it to the hook. If you hook it this way, you're depending on that to stay in. If it loosens up and it's here, it can't come off. So make sure you always hook through a hook. We'll go here. If you wrap this, it gets it out of the way and it gives you more security. So this unit is 50 bucks. We did a, a video on it it goes on there and under here and you can drop a 75 millimeter or 100 millimeter so we just dropped the sackler ace xl 75 millimeter bull onto that mount and then we'll get this positioned where we want it and tighten it up lock it there might be a little shake in there one thing one thing that people are doing is stabilizing the top of the rig. Uh, we could do that with another pin up here and then coming down to this type of a pin on here and attach it with a grip head. Or we can bring the camera down so that it's on this and we don't have any shake. We definitely don't have any shake on the base. It's just our camera rig that's moving. That's a very inexpensive, really cool thing to use your Dana Dolly for.
So everybody says it has to be a clean surface, and it does have to be a clean surface. However, they're using Windex and paper towels to clean the vehicle off. That is going to scratch your paint. Make sure you wash it with soap and water, take it through a car wash, whatever. Do not use Windex and paper towels to clean the surface, unless you want to see permanent scratches in your paint. So right now we have this aiming toward the inhabitants of the car, but just as easily turn this around and use it as a chase vehicle. So we could put this up on the roof and then bring these out and then put our mount on upside down, hang a gimbal, and we're gonna do this in another video, hang a gimbal so it's coming down and looking into the vehicle. This can go up on the roof. If this had a trunk, we could put it on the trunk. We could put it on the roof. We could put it on the hood. It can go into different positions. And the suction cup doesn't even have to stick because you're really holding it down with the straps. So even if you were in a situation where you didn't have a perfectly flat hood, you just use that as the stand. So over the last few weeks, we've been doing more than just drinking beer. We've been building mounts from $60 to $100 for suction cup mounts. We've got magnetic mounts. We've got really flexible suction cup mounts. The same thing, magnetic. Over here, we have this ridiculous deluxe mount, which will allow us to come out in front of the vehicle, down the side, inside the window, on the roof, on the hood, wherever we want. That's gonna cost us about $1,000. We're starting at about $60 for the single cup mount. We've got 10 inch mounts, eight inch mounts. Watch our other videos. We're doing about seven to 10 videos, all about car mounting rigs that we built for pennies on the dollar. That is solid. Fuck. And it went on the mount. <laughs>